How to purify water for emergency prepper survival. You go to the dollar store and you get you a couple of uh, sugar water containers and pour out the sugar water, rip off the labels and you have clear plastic water jugs. I'm, at the dollar store, I also bought a, a funnel. This is a great funnel. It has a screen in here. That's really a plus factor, have a screen. And it also unscrews. And you can put material in here, like uh, cotton balls, grass, sand or whatever to strain the particulate matter out of the uh, the dirty water that you get out of the creek or spring that you find. So th this is great. And uh, you can make your own funnel. This is a funnel, just cut the top off, make a funnel. And you can put some different things in into it, like uh, this is part of an old sheet. Well, you can make a strainer out of the old sheet. Uh, this is an old t-shirt. You can use t-shirt or handkerchief matter and put it at the bottom of your funnel. And you can have all sorts of different kinds of funnels. Here's a funnel made from a soft drink container, and you put grass in here, you, all the way through the grass, and then you have a t-shirt at the bottom covering that, strain the particulate matter out of. Particulate matter is just crud to me. It's anything that's not water. You want to strain out of it. You can have some. Uh, cotton balls that would help you filter your water. You can use some toilet paper to act as a filter. Put the toilet paper in then put some sand in or some grass in to help filter your water. To get sand you can uh, use an old frying pan or a dish uh, anything you happen to have and act like a gold pan and get all the the crud out the particular matter and uh, just just go like that the heavy materials we're selling you wash off the, the light crud that you don't want in there and, and wind up with sand and then you can use that sand in your filter system uh, and just about anything can get the, the crud out of the sand Then if you're really lucky, you thought ahead of time and brought some coffee filters. That's just ideal to put into your funnel. Put them in your funnel. And, and uh, you could put grass or sand or just use this. Maybe that coffee grounds would be enough to take the dirt out that you don't want in there. Next, I, I got a tray here. This is a painting tray to paint with. It was a dollar at the dollar store. And uh, put, put your, your clear bottles on it. And face it towards the sun. It should be in direct sunlight with ultraviolet rays for six hours. And that kills three things. Viruses, diseases, and bacteria will be killed by the UV rays, the ultraviolet rays. So therefore you have pure drinking water. All you have to do is uh, find a creek or my secret place is a, a spring that comes directly out of the ground. So it has very little animals and birds and various things haven't contaminated the water but I 
get that water. I dug a hole right after the spring and made it deep where I could bail water out of the the little hole I made. Uh, when you first dig the hole, it's got some silt in it, but you wait for that to cool down and go to the bottom. Same thing with a bucket. If you bucket some water out of a creek, you can just let it sit there for an hour and the heavy material will go to the bottom and then you can bail out of the top of the bucket and get the clearer water and then you strain the, the clearer water and put it in your bottles to get the ultraviolet rays. Peace. Don't break the lock.